guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, guys, I want to talk about the Litecoin halvening. So, as of making this video, it's going to happen in about 17 hours and 33 minutes. Uh, but by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably already happen. Uh, so, I'll have all the links down below. You guys can see this kind of information. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk about uh, price and the history of the last Litecoin happening, as well as some merged mining stuff with uh, different coins such as Dogecoin and also merge mining for GPU mining, GPU miners. So, and uh, also talking about maybe the Antminer L5 that was rumored. So, stay tuned, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through all, a lot of information here regarding about Litecoin. And so, Litecoin happening. Basically, it, the coin rewards are going to be dropping from 25 right now. So 25 Litecoins per block. Uh, now down to 12.5 coins in about uh, 17 hours. So, and as you guys can see here on this Litecoin blo blockhalf.com, um, basically, as I'm making this video, another 435 blocks until uh, the halvening, okay? Okay, so now I wanted to go talk about the past history of the last Litecoin happening, which was around, I believe, August 25th of 2015, okay? So, as you guys can see here, August 25th, the price of Litecoin back then was about $2.85, okay? So, I just want to just showcase to you guys the last Litecoin happening um, happened at uh, this, this block right here. Uh, this transaction, if we open it up here, you guys can see it happened on the 20, uh, 2015, August 25th at around, I think this is 10.58 at night time. Uh, I guess Pacific time, this is my, my time, but your time, your guys' might be different. Um, but as you guys can see here, uh, 25 out. So that, hap that, that was the first transaction of 25 Litecoins uh, back in 2015 of August. Uh, but if we take a look at the previous block... Uh, the previous block of that 25 Litecoins. Uh, you guys can see here, this is the last 50 Litecoin uh, block. And that happened about, I think, a minute and 30 seconds-ish earlier uh, than the uh, 25 block, the 25 Litecoin block there. So, pretty cool to see. Pretty cool to see there. Um, so, August uh, 25th, 2015. Now, uh, in terms of... I, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a trader by any means, but I'm just gonna look at uh, some past financial stuff here of what happened to the price um, before the last happening. Okay, so uh, as as I was showing here, August 25th, you know the price was 285, right? But let's just take a look like a month or so earlier. You guys can see there was a huge jump in the Litecoin price uh, at the peak here. So I think this was around $6 or $7 uh, in July and, and around the beginning of July. So um, there's a lot of price action going along there. I think there was a lot of hype regarding the, um, the Litecoin halvening, okay? So this was about a good month or two before um, the, the last Litecoin halvening, okay? So from 50 to 25. And, but as you guys can see here, after that, after the Litecoin happening happened, um, uh, from, you know, uh, 285, 285, and then it went, the price kept, you know, coming a little bit, a little bit down. It lost its traction in terms of uh, uh, Bitcoin dominance. So Bitcoin dominance was going a little bit higher. But uh, you, get, you guys can see here the price between Bitcoin uh, and the next couple months later, it, it dropped pretty much in half. Uh, but the price seemed to stay pretty stagnant from two two eighty five to four dollars. Okay, so from from the, there on out, and then of course, the infamous bull run of uh, twenty seventeen, uh, Litecoin of course went up to three hundred or four hundred dollars or something. But um, I just want to just talk about the last Litecoin happening. So if history repeats, okay, history repeats where we had a, a bunch of uh, a lot of Litecoin um, hype, okay, for the, the this this up and coming Litecoin happening that we're gonna have, you know, in the next. Uh, by the time you guys see this video right now, um, 
in theory, in past history, there shouldn't be much price action. In my in my thinking, the price should should probably be pretty stagnant as it is to right now. Uh, as I'm making this video, the price is ninety four dollars and thirty cents uh, per Litecoin. But I just wanted to show uh, before that. Let's say like a month or two before that. So June. Uh, let's see, yeah, June 19th, okay, something around there. Litecoin was around $138, $137. And there, I, I remember I remember during this time, there was a lot of hype during that time uh, for the Litecoin happening. So there was a lot of price action, a lot of price uh, hype going on along that. And so the price of Litecoin was going up uh, these past two months ago. So, But now it has pretty much hit its peak back then and has drastically come down quite a bit um, and now it's down to $94 so it's kind of reminiscent of the last Litecoin happening and price action as we can see here and here so not financial advice whatever all that kind of kind of stuff I'm just predicting in my opinion that we're just the price the price of Litecoin uh, as this uh, happening next happening is coming up is going to be pretty stagnant all right, so that's 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 it. That's just that's all I want to talk about in terms of uh, Litecoin price. Um, but now, I want to talk about uh, merged mining. Okay, so yeah, let's get to some mining stuff here. <laughs> uh, so Minerstat. Okay, I'm just I'm just on Minerstat's website. Um, I don't know much about merged mining when it comes to GPU mining or ASIC mining. Uh, but let me let me just talk about some merge mining for GPUs first. Okay, so. Here's the definition of merge mining on Minerstat. Um, while dual mining uses some hash power to mine Ethereum and one second uh, dual coin, the merge mining mines at two, two blockchains with the same hashing power at the same time. And while dual mining mines at two different algorithms, like ETHash and another one, for example, uh, merge mining is possible with, with only within the same algorithm. Okay, so for you GPU miners out there, you guys remember may remember dual mining with uh, uh, Ethereum and Decred, for example. That's they, those are two different algorithms, um, but they utilized, I, I believe, more more power, obviously, and uh, more of the card. So the card was being you know more being used for more core and memory and uh, power consumption, all that kind of stuff. But merge mining, from my reading here, is supposed to be um, it has to be the same algorithm, and I believe it will take the same amount of, uh, of power consumption, uh, fr fr from what I've heard. Uh, I haven't done it myself. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have done merge mining yet for GPUs. But um, on minor stat here, you can actually do merge mining and do profit switching here. So apparently there's a bunch of coins here, which I have not really done before. Um, there's like Aeon plus, uh, this is not the Aeon I talk about, but there's a different Aeon and plus BSM and ETH, Ethereum plus Zill, uh, uh, Graft and XDN, uh, uh, Turtle and all these other ones here. Oh, there's an XMR one plus XD, XDN. So these are, I believe, yeah, all the same algorithm, but you can you can uh, merge mine uh, two different other coins. So basically um, you're getting an, uh, the coin rewards of another coin as well as the primary coin that you're mining so pretty interesting um, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to make uh, want me to make a video about merge mining for graphic cards I will definitely look into this one day um, so let me know but now let's get into merged mining for ASIC miners so specifically for Litecoin there is a merged mining uh, option available for uh, with Dogecoin so uh, Litecoin is using the script algorithm, right? And Dogecoin is also using the script algorithm, okay? So Dogecoin, you guys all know, the meme coin, open source, peer-to-peer -peer digital currency, favored by the Shiba Inus worldwide. Started off as a meme. I believe it's still a meme, uh, but uh, a lot of people's opinion will differ. Uh, so let's take a look here. I'm on miningpoolstats.stream. As you guys can see here, Litecoin is a pretty dominant coin in terms of uh, uh, for ASIC miners. Obviously, uh, there's the L3 pluses and L3s, and right now we can see a few. I think there's a lot of pools on mining pool stats here, as, as they can see here. Uh, they do merged with Doge, 
So Dogecoin is probably the number one coin that they will uh, have for merge mining for Litecoin and uh, Dogecoin. And um, and I just wanted to point out that predominantly right now, uh, looks like China is pretty pretty dominant in the Litecoin uh, hash rates. Uh, as I can see here, these 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 top pools are pretty Chinese dominant in my opinion. Uh, so now. Uh, for example, I'm just going to pick out uh, via btc.com. Looks like this is an American American mining pool for Litecoin. And they support uh, merge mining. So they have here um, workers that mine BTC, BCH, and LTC will receive uh, mining coins as well as ELA, NMC, SIS, EMC, and Doge for free. So I'm assuming this is because they're merge mining and uh, depending on the algorithm that you're mining. So for example, if you're mining Litecoin, you will get the uh, 1200 Dogecoin uh, as well. Uh, I, I don't know if this is all relative. I'm not sure why it says you mine Litecoin and get 1200 Doge for free. So I'm assuming this is if you mine one Litecoin, you will get 1200 Doge. So I'm not really I'm not quite sure if the hash rate is relative to the amount of hash rate that you have is how much uh, doge you can get so if it's like what 0.1 litecoin a day depending on what how much ant miners you uh l3 pluses you have uh you may get uh one tenth of that so what a hundred litecoin of that i'm not sure 150 anyways but um there's another pool here i wanted to show multipool.us and um, if we're looking at the script here for uh, the statistics on this pool, uh, you can see here you can mine other script coins. There's Artbyte, Aurora Coin, Digibyte, uh, Litecoin, obviously, Lynx, Golden, Novacoin, Verge, and of course, right below that, um, there is the merged mine currencies here that they show. So there's uh, as well. So if you're mining these coins here, you can also uh, merge mine it with Dogecoin and Viacoin. So that's pretty cool to to see. Um, I I I really I really don't know much. I haven't really done much research about this kind of stuff. But it's it's interesting to see that uh, you can also get uh, another coin as you're mining Litecoin. So uh, and Dogecoin is I guess um, a pretty one of the top coins. Uh, a, a pretty top twenty, top thirty coin. In terms of market cap, so um, getting some free Dogecoin, that's not a bad deal. And uh, just to finalize, guys, uh, there was news about a new Antminer L5 for Litecoin. So you guys all know there's the L3 Plus and L3s uh, for mining Litecoin, and but there's a new Antminer L5 apparently that does 1473 mega hash per second at 1425 watts. So I believe. Um, these L3 uh, L5s are about 30 to 40 percent more efficient than the L3 pluses. So there is a whole there's a there's a rumor about this. Um, I didn't see this on their website. This is just a screenshot from uh, LitecoinTalk.io, and yeah, interesting. Um, so that basically correlates to what I'm going to end here end off here with the Litecoin hash rate. Okay. So the Litecoin hash rate right now, it looks like it's been it's been consistently going up and up, and um, whether that be a lot of people are coming back online with their uh, Litecoin uh, L3 pluses or possibly uh, the new L5s, which Bitmain could be mining with right now, I wouldn't doubt it. They probably are doing that. They've done that that they've done that in the past, and uh, as I, as I've heard, um, but. It looks like um, it, the Litecoin hash rate pretty much correlates to what the Bitcoin hash rate is doing as well. So when, of course, when Bitcoin went down to like 3,000, this is the lowest point. Everyone turned off their miners because it just didn't make sense uh, in terms of your electrical cost. And you can, you guys can see here the rise up after since Bitcoin started off at 3,000 has been going up ever since. Um, it correlates to the price action. So the hash rate of Bitcoin is also going up as well. Um, so these two charts, hash rate charts, pretty much look the same, Litecoin and Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, there you guys go. I hope that was some information regarding Litecoin. I know I am a GPU miner at heart, and I don't have any ASICs right now. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think about Litecoin. Uh, I, I, I like to follow a lot of different coins, whether they're, they're GPU mining, mineable or not. 
but uh, Litecoin is, you know, top dog in terms of uh, a lot of people mining uh, Litecoin. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, smash the like button if you guys like this stuff and uh, click the notification bell so you guys know when my videos come out every day. I make a video every day. I don't miss a beat. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one and peace out.